Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another super cold shop. That is right, guys. Once again, my Mr. Heater Big Max furnace has failed me and let me down. And I'm going to tell you, never mind the mess back here because, you know, I got Project Chevelle going. Well, it's not really going. It's just kind of sitting there collecting dust. But for the last couple of days, it's been cold in the garage. I made a video that I'll link right about here that tells you how to take care of this problem. But today I want to dive a little bit deeper into the reason that I believe is causing this problem and how you at home can take care of it permanently, hopefully. Okay guys, I'm thinking this vacuum line from the nipple that comes off this fan to the pressure sensor up here. I believe what's happening is it's creating condensation inside of that tube as it goes from hot to cold. Uh, the nights here have been dropping down into the 40s, but it's been mid to upper 60s during the day. So I think it's getting condensation in there that might be drying up, flaking off, and getting stuck in that nipple. this nipple right there. Put that back on real quick. I just shut the whole system down. I think the reason why is if you look at your service loop, see how it comes up real high and then drops right down to it? Well, all that's doing is allowing any moisture to run down and settle right here at the nipple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it free and allow it to hang down here and allow any moisture to settle without going and clogging the little porthole on this nipple. Okay, so as you can see, the only thing I did was undo the zip tie and I let the, the, the hose hang down out of the way. Now there's nothing in there that's hot that's going to burn it. You're going to want to keep it away from this exhaust fan because obviously it's sucking heat out. But as you can tell, we're away from the exhaust fan. And like I said, the concept behind this is if there's any condensation in this line, it's going to pull up or fall to the lowest hanging point and then dry up instead of rolling right down the hose into that nipple and when it dries it clogs that nipple and that nipple all it does is create enough vacuum to trip the pressure sensor to be able to ignite it so if you have the mr heater big max furnace and you're sick and tired of going out in your garage every year and unclogging that hole give this a try Let's see how well it works. I want to be honest about a couple things. Truth be told, it's been a great little furnace for me. My garage is just a traditional three-car garage, about 700 square feet. This thing works great. But I am getting sick and tired of going out there at the beginning of fall and making sure everything works and have my furnace not turn on. It's a simple, easy step to clear that passageway, as in the video I showed you before. Uh, if you haven't watched it, look for the link up here or down below or somewhere. I'll have a link to that other video. I made that, actually, that was the very first video that I ever made on YouTube. And I'm sorry that it wasn't that good. But, you know, the truth of the matter is, it's not about the quality. It's more about the information. And the technique that I use in that video works great. I have no issues with that. I was just looking for a way to not have to go up to my furnace every single winter and clear that passage. And I think this is it. Basically, I'm going to let gravity do its job. When it gets late fall, I mean, I know we're not in November now, but we're kind of having an Indian summer. You get warm days and cool nights and you get condensation in that hose. Well, that condensation it kind of just travels down to the lowest point of that hose. Which, the way they had it routed on my furnace, which might be different than yours, was it ended up right at that nipple. And like I said in the video, that nipple basically creates a vacuum to the pressure sensor to turn the switch on to ignite the system. So when it's corroded or clogged, it's not going to turn anything on. 
I just rerouted that hose so that the lowest point hung below that nipple and then it looped back up to it. That way any condensation will fall to the lowest point of that hose and never get around that nipple. So hopefully that's going to work. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. If you've tried this method, let me know because I'm interested. I just did it. Uh, and I know because I cleaned the nipple out, it'll be fine all winter. I won't really know if this worked until next next fall. But if you've done this and it's worked for you, let me know. If it didn't work, let me know. But the main thing I want you guys to take away from this is keep that hose away from anything hot. The last thing you want to do is melt it. All right, guys? So if you like this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one.